This is the rather fancy and fast Trek Speed Concept TT bike of none other than Fabian Cancellara, aka Spartacus, and a very nice rig it is too. First thing you'll notice about this is primarily the custom paint job, white and red, the red, a bit of a nod to his Swiss heritage, and of course, the Thracian gladiator design that sort of adorns the, the frame throughout. So it really has some eye-popping appeal. Now let's look at the aerodynamics on this particular beast. Starting off at the back, Bontrager solid rear disc, whilst at the front is a deep section Alias 9. Now both of these wheels are shod with Veloflux Criterium tyres. Drivetrain is Shimano Durace Di2, different than what he uses on his road bike. Now chain rings, this is a 56-44 combination and we know Fab does like to push a pretty big gear, although at quite a high cadence. Heading up to the Speed Concept Aero bars, Cancellara does have quite a narrow position, as you can see here. It's got paddles for the gears on here, and also down here, just for that added bit of control. Seat pin-wise, is a bladed carbon Bontrager seat pin, topped off by a Prologio saddle. Braking, a little bit of a combination. We've got Durace levers, and then as you can see, this rather attractive Bontrega integral front brakes that look pretty seamless. And I must admit, several manufacturers do actually put the brakes with inside the forks, and these do look rather swish. Very, very aero indeed. Very, very neat. Now the rear brake, again, as we've seen a lot of Trek frames over the last few years, underneath the bottom bracket. Definitely a case of the past meets the present in relation to design and aesthetics. A real beauty. So, that's me giving you a guide. How about talking to the man himself? It's a badass bike. It's not, Certainly is. it's not a bike you can ride. I mean, I never ride six, seven hours on this bike. I, I'm not riding three hours. I have to do it short. Yep. And on this, it's all about getting the full power on, on the pedals. Also, not being 100% comfort, it's good because this shows you you have to go faster. You have to get to the finish yes. quicker to get that's, onto the bus. It's, it's also motivation-wise, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, on the end it's right, it's also nice. I mean, of course, I did also long trainings, but also to adapt actually the position. Yep. But to go fast, you have to go deep, and, and this is what it's all about as well. Now, interestingly on here, you do have Shimano Di2 electric. So talk us through why you go for it on a TT bike, but not on your road bike. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's quite simple. Normally I was riding the manual shifters and there the manual shifters have been longer because you have certain rules about 190 you can have five centimeter longer so I'm not there so I have to be shorter. We saw that they measure also the whole bike differently okay. with this setup than when you have a mechanical shift. So you can actually come more further yeah, it's not, forward it's not, a little It's bit. not a lot but it's, an, it's enough. It's a margin. It's actually this what I needed. For more cool pro bikes and our pro bike playlist click just up here. And for our Walter playlist, click just down there. Please. And to subscribe to GCN, click on. Please subscribe GCNC. That's beautiful.